Hey guys, this is my very long overdue fall fashion haul. I've had this stuff for a long time, like even back when I was living at my parents, I got some of this stuff. So I'm going to try to find what I can that's still available online and link it for you like I always do in the description box. And if I can't find the exact things, I'll try to find something a little bit similar. Um, but yeah, I have a mix of things here from Target, Old Navy, J. Crew, Victoria's Secret. And I have shirts, tops, leggings, shoes. It's a random mix. I hope this angle is okay. Um, I got this wardrobe rack from Walmart. I think it was $10. I've had questions about it. 10 bucks at Walmart and really super easy to put together. So I'll just start out with some things that I got from Old Navy. I'll just kind of go down the line here. This first top that I got, these were I think $20 each. It's a navy blue striped um, shirt. And it's just It just says live, love, laugh. And it's in black. Black, yeah, black sequins. Um, it's pretty long, but it doesn't cover your butt long. It's not that long. And um, I got this in a size medium for reference, and it's a really nice just cotton casual top that I wear around the house with leggings. Looks really cute with jeans. You can dress it up with a blazer. 20 bucks, can't beat that. And I know this is not available online, because even when I purchased it, I couldn't find it online. But this next one I'm going to show you is available online. This one I also got in a medium. It has like a high boat neck, and it's like a cream color with really cute like gold sequin um, little dots. And this is, again, on the longer side. This one is available online, and it actually comes in two other colors. I just like the light color. One word of caution I will tell you if you're interested in getting this shirt is... Um, it is a little bit on the itchy side just because of the other side of where all the dots are, the way they're kind of knit in there. It's a little bit itchy. So when I wear this shirt, I just wear like a tank top or a camisole or something underneath, and then it's completely fine. But I really like these tops, and for 20 bucks, you really can't beat the price. Target. You guys know that's like my... It's probably my favorite store for clothes, honestly, because you can find really good basics. You can find really trendy pieces that aren't um, a lot of money, and my philosophy is I would never spend a lot of money on a trendy item because the trend could be here and gone tomorrow, and then you, you're out all this money. So it's great for trendy pieces if you want to try something out. Um, and like I said, great basics and just like everyday good pieces. I used to get stuff there for work all the time, and now that I'm home, I, I also find stuff to just like cute stuff that's comfortable and cozy to just wear around the house or run errands or whatever. So first thing I got was another flannel and you guys saw my black and white flannel in a previous outfit of the day. I wanted another one. Um, I love the color of this. It's like a blue and it has really pretty lilac stripe in it. So, so soft. Super comfy. I got this in an extra large because I like them oversized. Um, this one was $22.99 and that is that. And like I said, it's an extra large, but just be be warned, these do not run true to size. They actually run on the small side, um, and I don't like my flannels really tight anyway, so that is that. And I'm going to try, if I still have the tags attached, I will tell you what they cost and the size. Well, I can tell you the size, but I'll tell you what they cost. But majority of these things I've already worn just because, like I said, I've had them forever. So if I can remember what they cost, I'll let you know. But otherwise, I'll, like I said, try to find them online. I also picked up this um, top. This is by Massimo. I think this was around $20. I got this in a small, and this is an oversized blouse. And as you can see, it's very, very long. This does come down over your bum and cover. Um, and this is where it gets funny. Like, this is a size small, and it's huge on me. The flannel is also by Massimo, and it's an extra large and fits great. So you just have to kind of be careful. But these, like, loose blousey shirts are my absolute favorite in the entire world. Um, anytime I find these, I pick them up because they just never go out of style. They're super comfortable. I wear these with jeans. I wear these with leggings primarily. Um, like my Saturday pants from J. Crew, I wear them. And you can dress these up. You can dress them down. And they're just so comfortable and lightweight. Um, has a cute little pocket. I've yet to be able to find just like a plain white one. I have a cream and um, like gray, but I haven't been able to find just like a plain white. Not from Target or anywhere else, so I'm on a mission to find those. Find that. And they also have like a, a little button if you wanted to have the sleeves cuff up a little bit. They're three quarter length, otherwise you could just unbutton this and they're full, full length sleeves. So I love that. And then this next one I wore in an outfit of the day. This is also from Target. Now this brand is the Exhilaration brand and this I got in a medium. 
The small did fit me, but like I said, I like these shirts oversized, so when I can get a size up or two, I do. Um, it is long, and it covers your butt, and I, again, I wear this shirt with pixie pants, with my leggings, with jeans. It's just so cute, and I love the flannel like feel of it. Um, when I first saw it in store, I thought it was a flannel, and then when I got closer to it, I noticed it was like a loose blouse. So it's just the best of both worlds. This one is still available online, and I highly recommend it. I just love the colors. I love navy and red together. I also picked up two grandfather, I call them grandfather, they're all, I think they're, all, they're called boyfriend cardigans, but for some reason they just remind me of my grandfather and the sweaters he used to wear around the house, so I just call them my grandfather sweaters. But these are by the brand Mossimo, and these were the last two on the shelf, so I just bought them, not really worrying about the size. This one in the oatmeal color is a size large, this one in the blue color is a size medium, both of which fit fine, they're both oversized, they're very, very, very long and I love the pockets on the bottom. I feel like that's why I, I call them my grandfather cardigans because he used to wear exact sweaters like this with, card with um, pockets on them. But they do button up if you want them to be buttoned. I typically just wear them open and I love these for lounging around the house. I typically wear like a nursing tank with these and they're just easy. Um, and I do sometimes wear them out too with a big cowl neck or infinity chunky scarf. They're so, so soft. The material of these is incredible. And like I said, I think I want to say they're around $25 or $30. You really can't beat the price for them. And that is everything that I got from Target. I have one random in here. This one I got from ASOS. And this is just a cute little black shirt dress. And I bought this for work. Um, I think it was $30. Very affordable. And the thing that sold me on it was the rose gold detailing. It's just a basic, soft long shirt dress but then the studs up here on the shoulders are gold rose gold and then the little button here to shorten the sleeves and then it also has a little belt with again the rose gold detailing so this was super cute it's by the brand Oasis like I said I got it from ASOS I love that website because it's free shipping and it's fast and it's free returns and so I bought a lot of stuff on that website when I was pregnant they have really cute maternity clothes but um, once in a while I find like a good find and and that was one of them. So next, I think I'll talk about the stuff that I found at J. Crew. This was one of the first oldest pieces that I got, so I don't even think this is still available, but you might be able to find it at the J. Crew outlet. It's just a cotton shirt um, with a solid, it's like a color block, polka dots, navy blue, and gray. Just easy, easy, cute. I thought this was really cute for work. And then I also got this. This is the necklace tee. Oh, this shirt. This shirt I got in a small. This next shirt I got in a medium. I actually did get this in a small and it was too tight on me so I returned it and got a medium. Um, the material on this is very thick so and I didn't know that because I bought it online so if you wanted to buy this online um, just I would go a size up just because it is a little bit thicker material and it is it can be tight. It has an exposed zipper on the back and again it's that do you see a trend here? <laughs> I love navy blue and I love stripes. And then it has this really cute necklace detailing kind of sewn onto the shirt. So you do have to be careful when you're washing it. Um, let me, I haven't washed it yet, but let me just see the directions. It says hand wash cold, so you don't have to dry clean it, but just I would just be very careful. Maybe turn this inside out when you do go to wash it. Um, but I love this because you kind of have like a statement necklace and a shirt all together and I think it was only $65 and I think I got it on sale and um, this also came in two other colors like a lighter peachy pink color and then a darker red I think color and the necklace was different on those shirts so I think this is really cute um, I really like wearing this I also picked up another pair of the pixie pants which I said that I was um, I never pay full price for these because they're about $98, so whenever they're having like 25 or 30% off, I always grab them. Um, I had to get them in a smaller size because the size, I usually wear a size 6, these are a size 6, and the ones, the other ones that I have, I wore them a lot during my pregnancy and I ended up stretching them out, so I had to get a different pair. So these have an elastic waistband and they also have a zipper up the back that is exposed. I don't ever really have to unzip it. also has a clip. I just kind of slip them on and off. And when I first saw these, I thought they were like, they looked like riding pants, like pants that you'd wear to ride a horse. I love these. I wore these for work all the time. I wear these around the house all the time, especially if I have like um, 
lunch date or if I'm going out to meet people and I want to wear something a little bit more dressy than leggings, I wear my pixie pants. They are skinny, straight leg, and they have really cute um, like seams on the back. They make your butt look really good. And they're just so comfortable. And they're a very thick, thick material. I, I would say like much, much more thicker than your typical leggings. So I love them. And then I also picked up a pair of their minis because I love their pixie pants so much. So I bought their minis and these are kind of like their other like bestseller as far as work pants go. Um, but I would not recommend these. I do not like these at all. And let me just explain why. So they're just a traditional like trouser. They have belt loops. They have a zipper up the side on the inside. Um, I again got these in a size six and two pockets on the back. Um, these are a little bit more of a crop pant. They just come right to your ankles. They're not a capri, they're just a crop pant. And these are in a stretch twill, so they are stretchy. The material, though, is a magnet for any, any piece of lint, fuzz, dog hair. It's just, it attracts everything. They just, they just don't stay clean. They just don't stay nice. And I have a golden retriever, as you guys know, that sheds like a maniac. And with the pixie pants, it's no problem. I can just like, you know, brush off the hair on my pants and it's fine. With these, I need like a lint brush and I need about three sheets of the lint brush. And it's not even just dog hair. It's like, it's like lint. Like if you rub up against someone and they have lint on their sweater, it clings to this. So I will not be repurchasing. Like you can just see, they're just, they just look gross. Um, so I will not be repurchasing these ever again. It's kind of unfortunate because I really like the style of them. I like I like how they make my legs look. Um, I actually think I did an outfit of the day with these on, so you can see them on. But I just, um, the material of these is kind of a fail for me, so I won't be repurchasing those. Um, I also picked up some, the leggings from Express that I told you guys about in my favorites video. So I won't spend too much time showing you these. These are kind of like the knit and faux leather um, mix. They have the faux leather paneling going down the side. They're elastic and like I said, I think these are $50. These are a great alternative to the J. Crew Pixie Pants. They also have just like a solid knit material without the leather if you're not into that. Um, so if you don't want to spend the money on J. Crew and you want to just get them from Express, they're half price and you can usually use your like Express coupons that they send you in the mail all the time. I get mine in a size medium for reference and they're just super comfortable, especially for wearing around the house. I also got a pair of the faux leather ones, again, in the size medium. The tag says um, body fabric, but they were on like that display when you walk in the store, like on the trunk on the bottom. They were all laid out there. These are very trendy right now. However, I would say that I think leather leggings in general will probably always be in style, but leather leggings is not something I wanted to shell money out on. So these are perfect. And I've actually seen these at Target too. So the quality probably isn't as good, but if you want even a more affordable alternative than the ones that Express, you can check out Target. But they look really cute on. They are very slimming and I wore these out with my husband. We went out with some friends a couple weekends ago and they were so cute. And I just, I think I actually wore them with this, um, top, this like overflow blousey top, and then I just put paired it with my um, leopard scarf and some heels, and it was a really cute outfit. So I love these. I'm very impressed with them, especially because I haven't gone into Express or had any desire to go in there in quite a while, so I was very happy to find these when I was in there. And then I also picked up some more leggings from Victoria's Secret. These are my absolute favorite leggings, especially for wearing around the house. These are from the pink line. And these are like the fold over ones. And again, I lived in these when I was pregnant and I stretched them out so I needed to get another pair. I get these in a size small. Um, these are about $34, but again, always on sale or like buy two, like two for 30 years. They're always on sale and I always get those like surveys on my receipts where you can save $10, so I always use those. Um, but they're a very nice quality material. These I wear as pants. I don't like the real thin leggings to wear as pants because I just feel like it shows everything and they're like borderline see-through. Um, they're just too thin. But these are the perfect quality and thickness for going out if you need to wear them out or being at home. They're very comfortable. My only gripe with them is because they're from the pink line, they constantly have like bedazzled 
decals and like sayings and I just don't like that so I found these they're just solid gray and I think they even do have yeah they even do have like the little pink thing which is fine but they don't have or I haven't been able to find just the solid black rollover from the pink line I do have the Victoria's Secret yoga leggings that have the fold over waist that are all black but they're not as thick as these they're a little bit thinner so I do prefer the pink line for them but so I got these and then I also got and then I also got these which are just your traditional leggings and I was talked into these by the girl um, because they were on sale they were two for 30 and when I went in there I told her I just wanted like all solid black I didn't want any decals or sparkles on them and she showed me these but these um, these are just your traditional like elastic waist they don't have the fold over and they are a little bit thinner than the ones I just showed you um, so they're not bad I would wear these out as pants but they're just not as thick as I want them to be so um, I won't be repurchasing this style but um, again I just got these in the size small and they fit well but they're just a little bit on the thin side for me so so those are leggings so if you can't tell there is a trend here with my new wardrobe <laughs> it used to be like work pants and cute tops and now it's just like oversized cardigans and leggings and black pants and comfortable tops which is fine um, I actually prefer to wear these kinds of clothes better. It's so much more comfortable. So the last clothing item that I have to show you before my shoes are these boyfriend jeans. And I got these back when Shop Bop was having their friends and family sale. And they are by Current Elliott. And they're just boyfriend, boyfriend jeans. They're cuffed. And I love these. I've already worn them several times. Um, again, a word of caution. I got them in a size 28. Usually I'm a size 28, size 6. And, um... When I got them in the mail, they were way too big on me. And with boyfriend jeans, I know they tend to stretch. I have a pair. I'm actually wearing the pair now. Um, just quick show you. A pair that I have on now um, from Lucky that I've had forever. These are the other pair that I have, so I wanted to get a darker pair. Um, but these are from Lucky, and I... So I just wanted to show you what they look like. Okay, so I've had, I had the ones from Lucky for years and years and years. And I actually got these in a size 27 back in the day um, and they have since stretched out they're very 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 baggy on me I really can't even wear these without a belt and when I do wear them without a belt because I prefer not to wear a belt um, they just fall down <laughs> but so I bought these because I never I never um, had any current Elliott denim before and when I went on shop Bop's website they said that they fit true to size so I bought a size 28 and they were way too big and I knew that they were going to stretch because the ones I have from Lucky have stretched over the years, just the material of the jean. So I actually, instead of going to a size 27, I went to a size 26 because I knew that they would stretch and the 28s were huge on me. And the 26, the size 26 are absolutely perfect. They fit me. They're not tight at all. They're actually a little bit baggy, but I, they're boyfriend jeans, so I like them baggy, but they're... They're well enough that if they do stretch over the years, they're not going to be huge on me like the ones I'm wearing now. Um, so that is that. And the color is Loved Destroy, and it's a dark wash denim. And I just love these. I love these for lounging around the house to clean in them. And then I love them with my pumps that I'm going to show you to just dress them up with a cute blazer. It's like my, my favorite way to wear them, basically. And right now they just have very, very minimal distressing. Um, but over time, um, these holes will probably get bigger and more worn in. And that's why I just love boyfriend jeans so much because they last for years and years and they just get better with age. The ones that I have now on from Lucky, I think I've had for four years or so. And they're just, they're literally like my favorite pair of jeans in the world. I love them so much. So I was super excited to get these. I think they're around $200. And with the Shop Bop sale, I think they came down to like $155 and it was free shipping. So really good price because I will definitely get my fair share of wear in them over the years. So now I'm going to just show you my shoes. And then for shoes, I got these from Target and I got these two, two months ago or so, but I have seen these recently in store. They still have them. They're by Mossimo and they're just black faux suede little like almond toed pumps and they have gold studding on the back. And I think these were around $30. I got these in a size nine. I'm usually an eight and a half or a nine. I don't think they had the eight and a half. Or actually, no, they did have the eight and a half, but they didn't fit me well. They were too tight, so I got the nine. But these are super cute. So I wore these once to a wedding and once to a christening. The christening was a Greek christening. 
And if you've ever been to a Greek function, you know there's a lot of Greek dancing involved. And I danced my hiney off in these, and it was the first time I ever wore them. I usually break in my shoes, but I went out and bought these like the day before because I didn't have shoes to wear. And so I never had a chance to break them in, and I danced my tail off in these. And they were so comfortable, and I, I never ended up having to take my shoes off, which I was pretty pretty surprised about but um they're really cute and I like I like the stud detailing I feel like studs are everywhere nowadays so um again I you know I didn't want to have to pay a lot to have the trend in my wardrobe but they're super fun and they're even cute with just like cutoffs I think they're really cute so those are from Target and then my most favorite pair of shoes that I've had recently are from J Crew, and these are the Sloan pumps and they're in this mirrored metallic leather. I got these in an eight and a half and these are so amazing. I love these shoes so much. They were a little bit on the pricey side. Um, they were sold out for a long time when I placed the order they were back ordered. So I finally just got these in and again I usually break in my shoes because like I'll wear them around the house when I'm cleaning or something because I never know if they're gonna be comfortable or not. But the day that I got these delivered to my doorstep um, I was running out somewhere, I forget where I had to go, and I literally like put, took them out of the box, put them on my feet, and I went out, and I was like, hopefully they fit, because I wasn't going to return them once I wore them, and they were so comfortable, and I wore them all day, again, without having to break them in, they were so, so comfortable. Um, I like the toe isn't real, real pointy, it's just kind of like, it's again, like a, that almond shaped toe, I think I prefer this shape, it's like a rounded point over the real pointy toes but and there are three and a half inch heel I love love wearing these with my boyfriend jeans um, they just dress up the boyfriend jeans and they just look so good and I also I wear these all the time um, with my J Crew pixie pants and minis for work too so they are so amazing I love them I actually think I'm gonna get them in just like classic black because they're that comfortable but I love the color of these because I feel like they're kind of a neutral. They're almost like leopard. Like I almost feel like leopard is now a neutral in the fashion world. Um, I feel like you could wear these with anything, any color, any anything. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this and I thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon. Bye!